Hi, Chrissy. This is Mitch Bailey. Okay, I just uh, I got this new software. I wanted to try it out. This would be a perfect opportunity to do it. Um, I did the drawing on your house. You're going to have this same drawing uh, on the back, and you can see your, your whole house right here. Um, and I've drawn it up. Uh, north facing is that way. So this is the front of the house, and it faces north. So let me zoom in a little bit, because this is that master bedroom we're having problems with. And if we look at a master bedroom, the 89 CFM, that's the amount of air that's coming to the room, it's 89 cubic feet of air per minute. Uh, as you can see, it's uh, it's not a lot, and it's supposed to be 251 CFM. That's what we should be getting in the room. This is the reason why they put that uh, mini split in there. And that's, that's a, a huge issue, needs to be taken care of. Um, we, there's no way we're going to run another duck under the house to get there. So what I would suggest we do, and uh, we can do it by putting a, uh, a duck beside the furnace here and run it up alongside the furnace and come out. At the same time, we should remove this furnace coil and uh, fix this um, floor and so it won't be leaking anymore because it's going to damage your floor and then you're going to end up replacing the floor anyhow. Uh, so we fix all this stuff, fix this screen down here. Um, you know, it, I, I would suggest we take care of that because uh, if you don't do that, it's going to be, uh, you have a problem. We have plenty of space in here to run a duck. And so when we raise it up, we put a, we tap into the side and bring the duck straight up and over to the bedroom. If you didn't want to do that, uh, you can still uh, fix the, uh, the unit. And uh, here's the, um, Here's the pump in the attic. And as you can see, this pump is running uphill. We can repair all this. It may need a new pump. I'm not sure. I'm giving you a price to do that. But yeah, we could take care of that. Now, one of the things I want to point out too is there's no insulation here. This is the cathedral ceiling. This is the unit on the wall. I've got a, a, a bolt hanging it on the wall here. This ceiling should have insulation. If I come by and I show this to you, I'll, I'll bring my FLIR camera so you can see how much heat's actually coming through because this is not insulated. All right, uh, so that, so let's go back here and I totaled all the CFM. If we look at all the CFM or all the rooms and that's the ones in yellow and what we measured, uh, we're up 881 CFM. We should be at 1200. The same thing with the return, it's at 1028 and it should be at 1200. So you've got a lot of leakage. The ductwork needs to be sealed. We can take care of that too. When we move the furnace and we do a lot of sealing, you should have probably a second return or make this one bigger, make it a 20 by 30 instead of a 14 by 24. Um, so one other thing too, there was a, a, a huge hazard and this is your flue in your attic. Uh, it is not going all the way through the roof. Do not run your heater till this is fixed. And I've given you a price to take care of this part. And I'm amazed that the uh, house inspector did not catch this. This needs to go all the way up to the roof. Otherwise, it'll spill gases into the attic. That's why this is discolored right here. And that's that could be deadly. We could It could potentially kill somebody if, the, if it's making any carbon monoxide. So this is something for sure that should be taken care of. Okay, and then uh, the one other thing, and I, uh, the attic insulation is not really up to snuff. Um, we can see the just barely covering the rafter tops. It wouldn't hurt to blow more attic insulation at the same time if you're doing all this stuff. I've given you a price to do all the things, to take care of everything, and uh, it's something that you should look at. Uh, okay. Uh, give me a call back if you have any questions. I'd be very happy to meet with you. This way I can get it in and out and you can look at it at your leisure. That's one reason I wanted to do it this way. And I can explain the, the load calcs even more if you need to. But you're going to get a, a printed version of these load calcs. Uh, very detailed. And, uh, you know, this this is something that should have been taken care of when they, you got the house inspection. But the inspector didn't catch up a lot of this stuff. So, you know, I don't know if you can go back to him and try to get him to do it. But, hey, sorry about that. Thank you. Have a nice day.